Today we're going to make some adorable Lisa Frank ladybugs. So I'm calling all of my friends who were school aged, either elementary or middle school in the early to mid 90s. You know who Lisa Frank is and you know her signature bright color animal print design. So that's exactly what we're going to put on this ladybug. I'm going to start with some Liquitex gesso to make sure that the colors get good solid coverage because going over black is tricky and then using neon paints is also tricky to get nice solid opaque coverage. These are my new DecoArt Blacklight Neon Paints. I got them at Hobby Lobby and we're gonna use them to get these nice bright Lisa Frank colors. So neon paints are often tricky to get solid coverage so I am noticing that right away. One of the tricks you can do that I did not do in this video is that you can mix a little bit of gesso in with each color and that helps it get solid coverage faster. Or you can just do many coats. So I'm just gonna keep continuing to give this several coats of color until I get the nice bright colors that I want. I'm kind of blending along the lines where the color meets, sort of like I do with my sunsets, but I'm not super worried about it being nice and you know soft blending because there's gonna be a design that goes over the top of this. take this brushed metal it's kind of a metallic black paint and I'm going to clean up the lines where I kind of went over with the neon colors I'm just going to kind of make those lines nice and straight and clean make sure any of the overage from the neon paint is covered up I'm also going to draw that center line between the wings right up the middle of our ladybug and then I'm gonna take some extreme hologram glitter paint and I'm gonna cover all of the neon paint to give it a nice sparkly base. Now that I've got that base on there with the sparkle, I'm gonna take some Liquitex Gesso for my cheetah spots. So my cheetah spots are gonna be neon pink as well, so I need this nice base to help get the coverage over the previous colors and the glitter. And the neon pink is just kind of tricky to get solid color with, so I'm trying to give it the best bet that it's got without mixing the gesso in with the pink paint. Then I'm just gonna get in there with that neon paint and start doing coats of the pink until I get the coverage that I want and some nice bright pink cheetah spots. I don't know about you guys, but summer seems to have disappeared on us and we are starting school tomorrow. And it just is insane to me that summer's already over even though it's hot outside, the kids are going back to school and that just means fall is coming and then Halloween and then Christmas and then New Year's and then we start it all over again. Now to complete our cheetah spots, I'm gonna take a disposable eyeliner brush and some black paint and kind of create these imperfect parentheses is what I'm gonna call them around each of the cheetah spots. So it's kind of encircling it on each side and it might be where the spot is kind of crooked, it might be where it's round, but you just kind of wanna go with the shape and you don't want any two of them to look the same. So that's why I'm calling them imperfect parentheses. Then once those are down, I'm going to also add some little black spots in the open spaces in between the cheetah spots. Now
now to give this little bug some personality, I'm going to use dotting tools to create her eyes. So I'm starting with a large dotting tool and doing the white part of her eyes and I'm going to swirl it out with the eyeliner brush. And then I'm going to come back in and do some eyelashes, but I'm not worried about covering up some of that white. I'm more worried about the shape of my eyelashes and then I'm going to come back and cover up the part that's supposed to be white with some more white paint. Next, I'm going to add some blue pupils to this little ladybug's eyes and then while those are drying I'm going to come back in and create a nice little happy face with a white Posca PC1MR and then I'm going to fill in a little tongue inside her mouth. She also needs some little rosy cheeks and I swirled the funny dots in the middle of these dots out with a dotting tool. Sometimes when you go on top of shiny paint you get that funny little middle nib. So I smoothed it out and then I'm coming back in with a black dotting tool for the pupils and then a couple little white dots for accent and we have the most adorable little Lisa Frank ladybug. And I enjoyed making these so much that I kind of got out of control with the pattern and I created a heart and I also created some wild and free rocks that turned out super cute as well. And I'm planning to hide these around Sammy's school the day before the first day of school. Let me know in the comments if I took you on a little nostalgic ride back to your childhood. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch. Keep your eyes peeled for a couple more back to school rock painting ideas. Take care and I'll see you next time.